Hello everyone, GW Smallwood, the Shaving Disciple, and I'm back for part two of our Green Irish Tweed Shaving Soap Evaluation. So if you guys haven't watched the first video in this series, I'll link it up above. You guys should check that out. I'll also include it in the description below. Uh, so in that video, I talk about uh, which soaps I evaluated and kind of the criteria I used for my rankings. So if you guys are interested in that, go check out that video. Um, so in this video, we're going to be going over what I'm calling my good 10. 10. So I had 10 Green Irish Tweed shaving soaps that I felt fell into a bucket of being good, but not the best. So these are all really good soaps. Um, I would have no problem recommending any of them to you guys to buy. Uh, but for me, they just weren't up in that top echelon. So today we're going to be going through those 10 soaps. So a little note before we start. Um, I'm not going to be giving you any objective ranking on scent quality. Scent is such a subjective thing to so many people that it really doesn't make any sense for me to give you a ranking on that. Um, I know that's true of everything else, but for, for me, it didn't make sense. So I'll tell you my thoughts on the scent, but whether it's good or bad, there was no way I could really objectively quantify that. So the next thing to talk about is uh, performance. So I will try to make some objective judgments on performance. So the way I kind of rank my performance is I break it down into five categories. There is awful there is bad, there is average, there is above average, and there is fantastic. So put a little graphic there. So that's kind of the way I broke these down as far as my preferences and what I thought of the performance. So the other thing that I'll try to objectively comment on is the scent strength. So for me, I went with a simple scale for this. Uh, low, medium, and banging. So if it's a really, really strong scent strength, then we'll give that a banging goat. So why don't we go ahead and get started with the 10 good, but not great, Green Irish Street shaving soaps. The first one on the list is Man Cave Soap Works Gentleman's Tweed. So this is kind of a boutique soap. This was an Etsy soap. Um, it came with a wrapper. I'll flash a picture of the wrapper up here. This is a glycerin based puck. The scent is really nice. Uh, it's, it's low on the scent strength scale, but it is very, very nice. It's a good scent. Performance on this was average. It is a kind of heavy glycerin based. You can see it's kind of see-through. Uh, it's a heavy glycerin based type soap. Uh, to me, this performance was very, very similar to Mama Bear's. Which brings us to the next soap on my list of the 10 good Green Irish Tweed soaps, Mama Bear's Dublin Tweed. So I don't have that one anymore. Um, I had, I, I'd used an entire puck of it in the past. Uh, it's a, again, it's a good soap, uh, average performance. Uh, that one, I think, actually has a banging scent strength. It's a really, really strong scent. Both of these are veggie soaps, so no tallow, no lanolin. Um, I'm, I don't really know the distinction as far as the shaving soap ingredients between veggie and vegan, so for the sake of my conversation, I'm just gonna call them veggie. So the next soap on the list is Wet the Face, The Quiet Man. This one, to me, it has very little scent. I don't know if I got a dud batch or if this is just very, very lightly scented and my nose isn't sensitive enough to pick it up. I don't know, but for me, this has almost no scent. I can smell kind of a, a, an underlying soapy fragrance to it, but it, it doesn't smell anything like a green Irish tree to me. I just don't pick it up. So for me, that's why this one fell into the good category. Um, I do want to mention, I have watched some reviews of this soap um, on YouTube from other YouTubers and I seem to be the only one that has the problem with like zero scent in this. So that doesn't seem to be normal. 
So like I said, I don't know if I just got a bad batch or if it's my nose, but for whatever reason, this just didn't have a decent scent strength for me. But performance, average. It's to me, uh, let me classify what I say by average. Um, Razor Rock is kind of my average scale. So Razor Rock's tallow soaps for me are kind of the, the bar for, it's a good soap, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just not spectacular. There's nothing special about it performance wise. This one I think falls into that same sort of a category. It's a good performing soap. It's not fantastic. I would call it average. Which brings me to the next soap on the list. Razor Rock Irish Countryside. Uh, so this one, like I said, this is kind of my scale for an average performance soap. So this obviously would be an average performer for me. Scent strength is low. So this scent is actually really, really nice. Uh, for a little Easter egg for you guys, this is the soap that was formerly known as Tight Buns a few years ago, uh, which I actually got to smell that once upon a time too. That was also very, very lowly scented. So again, really, really nice fragrance, clean, green, fresh, um, just not very strong for my tastes, which is probably what put it in my good but not great pile. The next soap on the list is Banyulay's Green Irish Tweed. So this is uh, Banyulay's Soap of the Gods. Um, this one is, again, really, really nice scent. To me, if I was gonna pick one out of this group that smelled closest to the real green Irish tweed type scent, this would be it. The scent strength is low, which again is probably what put this in my good but not great category. But it's a really, really nice scent. So if you like lightly scented soaps and you're looking for one that smells pretty close to green Irish tweed and is still a good performer, I would say this is a kind of average performer, um, then this would be a good option for you. Banyulay's Green Irish Tweed. The next one on the list, which this one kind of broke my heart a little to put it this in this list and not my best of. Mystic Water Irish Traveler. I really, really love the performance of Mystic Water soaps. Um, I've, I've only got one other full puck, but I've used multiple samples in the past and they've always been fantastic performers. This one is no exception. On the performance scale, this is a fantastic performing soap. The scent is where this one fell a little bit short for me. To me, this one is heavy on the verbena and it's missing that brightness of the lemon. Um, it's, it's there, but it's very, very muted. The other thing that this particular soap uh, had for me was a bit of a tallowy scent. Uh, I ordered quite a few samples, I think ordered like six or eight samples along with this soap, and they all kind of had that tallowy scent along with them, which I'd never had in any of the samples I'd tried before. So again, maybe they just need to cure, maybe I need to leave it open for a while. Um, I'm not sure. It's not a bad scent, uh, but the, the green Irish tweed notes to me are not as present because of that underlying kind of tallow note. So. One of my good but not great scents is Mystic Water Irish Traveler. Next on the list is the last of the soaps that I picked up this month, which is Lisa's Natural Herbal Creations uh, Irish Green Tweed, not Green Irish Tweed, Irish Green Tweed. So this is from Lisa's Natural. Uh, this is not a soap she keeps in stock all the time, but it does come up every once in a while. Uh, this is from her premium formula. So this is a lanolin and tallow, uh, but it's got some milks and extra butters. Again, this is this is a nice scent. Um, this, this one actually is a little bit darker than the others, I think. I'm not sure if she went stronger on the sandalwood and the amber in the base, but to me, this is a it's a light scent, uh, but this is an excellent performer. This is a fantastic performing soap. 
Um, unfortunately, the scent just wasn't quite there to push it into my top category. The next item on my good but not great Green Irish Tweed list is Myrrh Shaving Banshee's Breath. So this is actually a really, really good performer. Um, I, I, would, I would put this one at above average performance wise. This is a duck fat soap. This one also comes in uh, vegan, I think. I think he specifically says vegan formula. Uh, I got mine with extra scent strength, which he offers. So this is this scent strength for me is banging. Uh, this is a very strong, very strong soap. Uh, it's very heavy, heavy on the lemon. It's a really, really nice scent. Uh, like I said, above average performer. Uh, this also, he also gives you options for mentholated. So if you want, um, this might be the only soap on the list, uh, aside from one other, that you can get in mentholated form. So if if you want a mentholated Green Irish Tree take, this is your this is your option right here. So the next soap on the list is Ginger's Garden. So this is uh, Irina's tallow formula. Very very nice clean, crisp, green Irish tweed scent. Again, to me, this one is missing kind of some of the heaviness in the base notes. Um, it's a little bit brighter and not quite as complex as some of the others, but it's still really nice. Um, she does offer multiple soap bases. Um, she also offers a cream. Like I said, this is the tallow. She also offers in uh, vegan formula. She offers a glycerin formulation. Uh, so this one is a medium scent strength. Uh, again, good above average performer, uh, medium scent strength, um, but to me, the scent was just missing a little something that it needed to push it into my best of grouping. So the last one on this list of my 10 good but not great Green Irish Tweed Soaps uh, is Central Texas Soaps Irish Flats. So this one is probably only in this grouping because of scent strength. It's a really, really nice, really clean, fresh Green Irish Tweed scent. It's just really, really light. I wish there was more scent strength in this. Um, as far as performance, this one is above average, maybe pushing towards fantastic. Uh, for me, this is one of the best veggie bases that I've ever tried. Uh, post shave feel on this was fantastic. Right up there with some of my best uh, tallow and lanolin soaps. So if you're looking for a lightly scented soap that's vegan, this is probably one of your best options. If you're looking for a lightly scented Green Irish Tweed scent that also has fantastic performance, whether it's vegan or not, this is also a very, very good option for you. So that's my 10 good, but not quite best Green Irish Tweed scents. Like I said, all of these 10 are very, very good soaps. I could easily keep all of these in my den and I'll probably keep at least half of them just because I do enjoy using them. They are very good soaps and I do enjoy most of the scents. The ones that I'll get rid of are probably because my nose can't pick up enough of the scent. So these are all very, very good, but there were some that were better. So I mentioned in my intro video that I had six, six best Green Irish Tweed scented shaving soaps. So the next video I do will cover what those best Green Irish Tweed soaps are. So I hope you guys find this, found this video useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you disagree with any of my comments, leave me, leave me some comments, let me know. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys think of these soaps. Um, if, if your opinions differ from mine, I wanna hear why. So let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video. Uh...